vlog yesterday because I didn't do anything yesterday except for a workout and that's it. But anyway, so I got called yesterday for an interview for a job. It's um, part time, but at this point, anything is better than nothing. So I had my first interview today at 10 o'clock and then I have a second interview at, with the same place. I guess this is like another process um, tomorrow at 9.30. So, whew, fingers crossed in Jesus' name. Hopefully I get the job, even though it is part-time work. But, hey, gotta get in where you fit in and just work my way up from there, I guess. So for today's breakfast, I'm having two eggs, two pieces of turkey bacon, and a bagel with honey, nut, oh no, honey pecan, cream cheese, <clears throat> a little bit of orange juice, and yeah, that should help me get my day started. <sighs> okay, good morning people. It is Saturday morning. I know I haven't vlogged, I think, since Tuesday. And honestly, um, I was just trying to get certain things together and I just had to really get prepared like mentally and just focus. I just hate coming on camera if I'm not like 110% like dedicated or focused with whatever I'm doing because it just kind of comes off as fake and I feel like you guys can feel that so I just have to be real open and honest and transparent which is kind of like open but not really and just come back on camera when I was ready so just a little quick update so I had an interview on Tuesday for a sales associate position or a team member position or whatever and then the next day I went through three interviews because one of the ladies who interviewed me she was like well we're opening a new position for a team lead position and I was like okay and she was like we just wanted to see if you'd be interested in it and I was like yeah she was like okay well let me give you um let me let you talk to um another I got interviewed again and then I had to come back yesterday or not yesterday but Thursday to meet with like the head honcho so he was saying hey, sorry about that so the camera just died so like I was saying so then um he was I was talking to the head honcho um, person. I can't. I can't figure out what his position is. But he was saying that if I don't get the team lead position, then I'll get the sales team um, position, and I could always find my way to work up or find a way to work my way up. So I was really happy about that. And I just felt extremely blessed, even though um, I haven't got called back from them yes or yet. So it's been a couple of days, and well, I had my interview on Thursday, and it's Saturday now, so it's been like two or three days. So they'll say that the they said that they'll call me and let me know everything. Thing. so hey beautiful people it is Sunday and um, we went to church today earlier today and then we just chilled in the house because there's actually supposed to be a tropical storm um, hitting Florida um, I think tomorrow so um, just about to watch some Netflix and then um, maybe a little later I'll probably put in a couple more applications and that's pretty much what I love Sunday afternoons by the way I never really liked them when I was in college because I you know with Sundays you always knew like oh shoot Monday's the next day and then we always say that we're gonna space our work out but I would always end up doing my work on Sundays like the day before sometimes the day before it was due but anyways but um i really love sunday afternoons so that's a random fact about me i love sunday afternoons and i love friday nights hello people it is actually a whole new week and um last clip i think you saw it was last week so today is a whole nother week and it's wednesday um the only thing that i did today um i didn't put any formal um applications in but i did send my resume and my headshot to a bunch of like local dance studios around here just because i want to see like at this point i'm just trying to like get work i still haven't heard back from the other job that i got interviewed for and i um was actually applying for a jazz professor position and I was talking with a lady about that like earlier during the summer but she still hasn't called me back and I called her back to kind of touch base with her and she still was kind of like well we'll let you know so I haven't heard from her so that's just a little bit of what I've been doing today I think I'm just gonna co-wash my hair today maybe and chill because I don't have anything else to do I did all my interview work stuff already so I feel like ain't much else I can do so eh. Okay, so, um, it is, what is today's date? Mm, I think it's September 3rd. 
I think it's a Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because eviction day for Big Brother 17 comes on today. So it's a big day in the Simeon household. Anyway, so I co-washed my hair. Let me tell you about this co-wash. Okay, so I was always skeptical about using co-washes because I was like, I'm not really sure how a conditioner is going to get. I, I, I figured it would get the shaft part of my hair clean or the the length of my hair clean, as I like to call it, the, you know, down here. But as far as, like, my scalp, I was kind of like, I'm not really sure because I have, like, dry scalp and I like to wash my hair. Um, I like to wash my hair at least once or twice a week because, um... I don't have as much product buildup, um, so I won't have as much product buildup, and because um, I like to keep my, that's when my scalp starts to like kind of like flake and stuff like that. So Head and Shoulders has a phenomenal co-wash, and it says on the bottle for textured hair, and it has coconut and like really good ingredients in it, y'all. At first, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, eh, okay, let me try this because I'm like, because I feel like there's a lot of hair companies um, that are trying to, you know, advertise things for, like, the natural um, hair movement. And I, I appreciate it, but some of this stuff doesn't work. Like, I've tried the Pantene um, collection, the brown bottle for natural hair, and I hated it. It didn't do anything for my hair, but kind of knotted it up. But y'all, not only is Head & Shoulders, it's a really moisturizing conditioner. It is great for detangling. And it has, um, I think it's called, um, it's some kind of zinc that's in it. That's a dandruff treatment. So I'm just like, and it really does the job. So I just filmed a empties video, so I'm just trying to edit the video I always have trouble like trying to come up with like different tags to like put on the video so people could like find the video so I'm like I always run out of stuff to say but anyway so quick little little whatever this is um so my daddy is frying pork chops and let me tell y'all something I haven't had fried pork chops in so long I've been really trying to be healthy and be like not strict on myself because I feel like anytime you're really strict on yourself, it just it's just not worth it. You want to feel good and you want to look good, but I feel like when you feel good from the inside, it's better, and then the outside will catch up, obviously. But at this point, like I really don't care that they're fried. I haven't had fried pork chops in like so long, but I actually don't mind that they're fried. And can we talk about this lip color? So I got this lip color like. A cup I think like a year or two ago which I probably should throw it away but it is like from Rimmel it's the Kate Moss um, lipstick that has like the red tube and it was a matte lipstick so I always hated matte lipsticks when I was um, younger but like now that I'm looking at it I like really like it and it's matte and it just looks like to me I feel like matte lipsticks are so great to wear like if you're you know trying to be casual or something like that I feel like more like velvety satin kind of lipsticks are good for when you're trying to dress up and go out and have somewhere to go but I, don't, I ain't really doing nothing so I was just like oh my gosh <laughs>